There's a sense of your, not only your ad strategy, but your content strategy really has to be driven toward offering an audience something that no one else can do. And again, all of us have that, like your perspective, like what is, mm-hmm. what is your perspective on news or this or that or whatever, and try to do that in a way, again, to which that value proposition is, I need to get Christian's email. I got I to gotta be on his newsletter because whenever he talks about whatever, then I need to be in the loop. That relationship's much more than just creating a website and just trying to populate it as often as you can. Create something unique, create something to where to your point logging in, or hey, if you do this survey, there's something that comes with it. That's the kind of relationship I think is gonna be there. Um, that'll make your registrations worthwhile. I think the other strategy that I see a lot of people really employing is working toward commerce and looking at, you know, let's put it this way. The easiest is, is affiliate links on your website and uh, in that particular approach. I think, I think there's an aspect that if you are truly unique, your take on it of a product will create those conversions for you versus like, um, I use golf as the example. This isn't golf.com. This is my own, my own take on it, right? Which is golf can just sit there and list a bunch of products and you can go, cool. Kind of like Amazon does. Where do you buy stuff? You buy it on Amazon. But actually, you know, the example better than golf is, is Gawker, right? And what Gawker was doing and you see on Live Hacker right now, big fan of the fact that they'll sit there and say, here are 12 steak knives. We tried them. We think this is the best one. By the way, very clear, if you buy it through this link, we get credit for that. That's a good value exchange. Sure. And so reviewing products and then making them available for sale is an area that I think, think is going to just continually grow. Um, I think the other piece of this, just kind of going through this, is the, the optimizing your data segments. There's just, a, there's just an aspect of this that like, there are people out there that are like the focus on making first party data work is just mm-hmm. going to grow. If you, if you believe right. in what I, what I was saying earlier, it's just, you got to make first party data work and working with companies that can help me create new content can help me with registration, commerce, all these things here are really the ways to which can help. But think of the data segments at the bottom of it, because that I think is ultimately going to be something you can you know, talk to, an, talk to an advertiser about and say, I can segment this way. People okay. buy on my yacht site. They're the renters and the buyers. There we go. I don't know why I'm stuck with yachts today. But that is, that, like, that is a key distinction. And you should be working with people to help you create that.